I just wrapped up a coaching call with one of my clients. We were setting up Twitter ads for them to get more leads and more customers. And if you haven't tried Twitter ads in the Twitter marketing funnel, then this video is for you. And I wanna show you how I set it up for one of my clients to where they're getting pennies per click. So traffic to their website for you know one tenth of a penny. The advertising on Twitter is incredible. It's one of my favorites out there. And today I want to review how we set up the Twitter marketing funnel and how you can set it up. Also, hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. We spend over $2 million a month on ads, so we know what's working and what's not. Google ads, Facebook ads, and now Twitter X ads, one of the most powerful ones out there. I like to bring in the new traffic from Google and retarget on Facebook, but now we're able to bring in cold traffic from Twitter also, which is really powerful. I'm going to show you exactly how we set up the ad account. So if you have a business and you are new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you commented new below the video. That way I can send you this free resource where you can take this guide and copy and paste it into your business. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is set up the Twitter ad account and we'll call it X now from now on. You already know what that is. And so when you set up your X ad account, you're going to actually come to a screen that looks like this. If you remember the old Facebook ads, you can boost a post. Do not do this. This is where the bots come in. You can't control any of this. So you always want to start with advanced and you're going to go from there. Now, depending on the type of business, you want to start thinking about, are you local? Are you nationwide? Who's your ideal customers? And that's where we get into the different ad types, the ad sets, and then building the audience around it. So if you are an e-commerce business, I highly recommend using sales here. It'll integrate directly with your Shopify site if you're using Shopify, and it'll dynamically show your products in an image, a video, or a carousel ad. Think Facebook ads, but better. Um, it's gonna pull those directly from your shop. Now, in later videos, we'll go into the conversion tracking, but e-commerce, this would be a good start. Engagement would actually help build your channel. So if you're look, interested in building your, your following on Twitter, on X, then I highly consider engagement and this is exactly what I've been doing to grow mine, and it works the best, I think. So it's the lowest cost per click, and it's going to build your profile so you can follow up, and then you can sell them through your tweets. So let's start with engagement. Uh, video views, if you're trying to promote a video, you can definitely do this, um, or e-commerce on sale. So let's start with engagement, because you can also build your following um, on X as well. So let's just name it. We're going to name it, um, let's see, engagement on X. Let's try to get more followers. We wanna keep AB test off, let's keep that off. And we're basically gonna keep all of these off. Now I have been working with an ex um, account manager that's been helping me with this and basically making sure that we get the perfect audience for our businesses. So I hope this video helps you. So I like to just start with this to do a test campaign. Let's call it engagement on X as well. We have our campaign, our ad group. Let's just set a small daily budget to get started. And then this is where we want to basically keep their settings auto bid recommended good engagement good and just keep all of these they are recommending the best one to get the lowest cost per click so i'm just going to keep it the exact same now depending on your type of business men women or all for me it's going to be any and i think most businesses are like that um, and then language we're going to keep this as english for us so that way anyone that doesn't speak english you know they're not going to understand my tweet anyways then you can target by location. Now this is really powerful. We want to do a call out. The ad should be very, very specific to our audience. Now I've tried ads where it's not specific and I don't get any results. So we either need to target by the exact keyword and follower lookalike, or we need to do the exact location. So as an example, I did a Florida ad. Anyone in Florida, you know, make sure to follow me. So basically it would be Tampa, Florida is where I'm from. And that would be my ad. So, Hey, I'm looking to connect with entrepreneurs in Tampa, Florida, you know, make sure that you follow and connect with me or leave a comment below this video. That's how specific you need to be with these Twitter ads, these X ads. It's so powerful, but you need to be very specific. You can't be broad with these. So let's do something a little different. I will do actually entrepreneur. Um, so we'll go nationwide. All right. You can also, if you go out to other countries, the cost is going to be much less. 
So if you want to just do United States, your cost per click will be a lot higher. But if you want to go out to some other countries, you definitely can. So I, you know, I'm able to work with anybody. So throughout the world. So I like to do United Arabs. I like to do Canada. And you could go in and put a couple other countries in there. All right. Next thing is keep the operating systems off. Just let X decide on this. And this is where the audience come in. Now you could build a custom audience and upload your list. That's something I'll be making a video on later in our uh, professor method course. But for now, let's just keep this blank because this is where the fun comes in. This is where you can really target um, keywords and different things like that. So for me, I'll target entrepreneurs. So let's go ahead and get started on that. You're going to type in your exact keyword here. So now I know that if anyone searched or liked or commented or anything that has to do with entrepreneur, it's going to show up here. Now the audience is too small because I need to add some other things. So the next thing I'm going to do is I can go look in here and I can also click on this. So now I've got a keyword and this is where we want to be super specific. These all need to be the same for the ad set based on your ad. Now, like I said, broad just doesn't work. So I have a keyword entrepreneur. I have an interest entrepreneur. And then I want to find entrepreneurs that follow somebody. So I already know that Justin Welsh is a, a large entrepreneur, solopreneur in the industry. So now I've got basically three. I know that they've typed in or looked for keywords on entrepreneur, that they're interested in entrepreneur, and they follow somebody that talks about entrepreneurship. And that's exactly what my ad needs to be about. So think about your business. Who are you? Who is your ideal audience? What are those ideal keywords? What are they typing in and who do they follow? And then that's where we need to do our ad copy. So now we've got a nice list, 4.7. We could even narrow this down even more. So I like to do business owner as well. So maybe they're interested in business advertising. And there we go. So I just made it a little bit bigger. Now I could be like that or I could just narrow it down even more. So I like to be, you know, basically X team says anything over 800,000 is good. So that looks pretty good to me. Now you could break this down even more. They're going to give us recommendations. Who else can we add to this list that has entrepreneur like followers? And that's where it comes in. You want to really think about who your audience is and who they follow. The rest you want to just basically keep unchecked. Now, if this is an ad where your followers and people that have interacted with your posts before, you can go ahead and check these. So that it's basically retargeting without having to set up retargeting ads. So it's really powerful there. And then from there, um, keep this off. So we don't want this showing to anyone else but these specific people. Like I said, the more specific you are, the better. So we're going to hit next. Now, I'm just going to call this the same thing. Now, we could drive traffic to the website. Now, once you start building up your account, you can start setting up ads like this. But if you're looking to just grow by followers and people interacting with your post and building more connections, they know where to look. They'll go to your profile and click your link. So they will certainly do this, but you can also do none. So this is basically if you want to grow and get more followers, you're going to set it up just like this. But if you did want to do the ad with a link to your site, this is where you're going to get pennies per click and really increase the traffic to your website. So I could say something like this. I'm looking for five So very specific. I'm looking for an entrepreneur that wants to run ads on X. And that's really the key. You have to be specific. If not, then you're going to get the bot followers. You're going to be paying for clicks you don't want. So you don't pay unless somebody clicks or goes to your website. So that's where you want to be so specific on your strategy here based on either it's the location. I'm looking for people in Tampa, Florida. I'm looking for people in Georgia. I'm looking for people in whatever city you're in. You want to narrow that down or you want to be based on industry. I'm looking for entrepreneurs. I'm looking for, um, you know, doctors. I'm looking for lawyers. Um, and that's exactly who your audience is. That way you are not paying for bot clicks. That's really the key. Then we can go ahead and add some media here or we can keep it just a text. So based on this, you could also go collection. You could do carousel here or you could just do the website. And that's where I'll go ahead and add an image here. And it'll pull from all your past images that you've ever used. 
So I'm going to go ahead and use this image just because I know this is a powerful image. This is a client we helped. Um, you know, they make over a million dollars a month with their ads. So this is a good example of showing exactly how we can help. And then from there, we want to do the headline. So you want the headline to be something very specific to this. So I do offer a free advertising guide, and then we want to just link it to your website. And I really think doing a landing page is going to be the most important here. Landing page really focuses on somebody seeing your title, what you're going to offer them, and filling out a form. So that's how you're going to get the best conversions. If you do a simple landing page, if you just send them to the website, usually people get lost. So now we're here. We've got our ad, we've got our text, we've got our image, and we have our link. Now this is where you can see a preview here. And this is where we're gonna get pennies per click. This ad is getting me um, like a third of a penny per click, 0 0.03 every click to the website, which is really helping us grow our SEO, growing uh, lead magnets, um, email lists, and also growing our following. People are following us because of this ad. They know I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. So if you wanna grow not only your business, but your X account as well, I highly suggest putting a small budget towards X ads, setting up something like this to either grow your following or to get more clicks to your website. And of course, if you need any help setting this up, this is exactly what we do. We can add you to the professor method where we'll give you the guide to show you exactly how to set up these ads to try to get more visitors, more followers, more leads, and more customers. Thanks again for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.